This is problem number five from the January 2015 Algebra Regents exam. In this question, we're trying to find out which one of these four table values represents a linear relationship. And of course, a linear relationship means that it is increasing or decreasing at a constant rate. So that's not exponential. In order to see which one of these is moving at a constant rate, first you notice that all of the x values are increasing by one each time in every single one, which is great. That makes our lives much easier. We can basically ignore them. What we need to look at is the output, the f of x, or the y value, and see how the rate changes each time. For example, in the first one, the difference for between negative 3 and negative 2 is that it's increasing by 1. From negative 2 to 1, it's increasing by 3. 1 to 6 increases by 5. So we can see that this is not increasing at a constant rate. It's changing each time. Um, in the second chart, we can see from here to here, it's increasing by 1, increasing by 2, increasing by 4. So again, not a constant rate. Um, moving down here, we can see negative 1 to 0 is an increase of 1. 0 to 1 is also an increase of 1, so that's a good sign. But then from 1 to 8 is an increase of 7. So that's not constant which leaves us with option number three. We can confirm this is correct to see that negative three to negative one is an increase of two. Negative one to one is also an increase of two. One to three and three to five are all increases of two. So three is the correct uh, table of values. That is a linear relationship. All right, and that's all for this video. Thanks for visiting JD's Regions Preparation.